Hi, boys and girls. I'm going to be reading Maya Lin, artist architect of Light and Lines, designer of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial by Jeanne Walker Harvey. In the woods by her childhood home, Maya Lin played with her brother and explored and climbed the many rolling hills, one she named the Lizard's Back. On long walks alone, she searched for birds in the forest. Maya sat still as a statue, hoping to tame rabbits, raccoons, chipmunks, and squirrels. In her house full of light and open spaces, Maya read books and played chess with her brother. And with paper and scraps, she built tiny towns. Her parents had fled China at a time when people were told what to be and how to think. Her parents never told Maya what to be or how to think. Maya grew up with art. Her father was an artist who made art with clay. Her mother was a poet who made art with words. She watched her father form a pot from a mound of clay without plans or drawings. Maya too, thought with her hands as well as her mind. You see down here, clay, ceramics, silversmithing, macrame, and this says Maya graduated co-valedictorian of her high school class. One day when Maya looked at the patterns of light and lines on the ceiling of her college library, she imagined she would become an architect who created buildings with art, science, and math. While studying overseas, Maya wandered through countries and cities, gazing at buildings of all types, new and old, learning all she could. In her last year of college, Maya entered a contest to design a memorial to honor soldiers who died during the Vietnam War. The contest rules said the memorial must blend with a park setting and include the name of every soldier who died fighting or was missing. Almost 58,000 names. These rules rang true to Maya. She knew the power of names. Maya believed that a name brings back all the memories of a person, more than a photo of a moment in time. In the glow of the autumn sun, Maya walked across a field dotted with trees, the site of the future memorial. Through her camera's eyes, she imagined a knife slicing open the earth. In her mind, she saw the cut in the earth healing over time to a polished edge covered from top to bottom with names, an edge that reflected sky and grass and the people who visited the memorial. Back at school, Maya sculpted a model with mashed potatoes, then with clay. She sketched a soft space of greens and blues, and before mailing her entry, she put her thoughts into an essay. She wrote that her long, polished wall would be a quiet place to remember all those who died during the war, and a place to be experienced by walking down, then up past names that seemed to go on forever. The contest received so many entries, enough to fill an airplane hangar. Lots of famous architects and artists entered. The names of contestants were hidden from view. Out of 1,421 entries, Maya's design was chosen. Simple, yet strong. Creative, and new. But when they found out Maya was the winner, the judges were shocked. She wasn't famous. She was a young woman still in school. Maya was su as surprised as the judges. All was excitement at first, but then people objective. Some said her design looked like a bat, a boomerang, a black gash of shame. Their angry words stung Maya. For months, public hearings were held. Some people wanted to change the design. Maya was young, but she was brave. She didn't back down. Finally, her design was approved. 
Maya worked with a team of architects and engineers who devised plans to evacuate the land, build the wall. The granite was cut, polished, and engraved with the soldiers' names. The earth was dug up. Maya watched the panels suspended in space set in place. For the first time, Maya visited the finished wall. She searched for the name of the father of a friend. When she touched the name, she cried, just as she knew others would. Thousands came that Veterans Day to see and touch and remember. Salutes, hands on hearts, honoring. And every day since then, visitors have done the same. The Vietnam Veterans Memorial was the first of Maya's many works of architect and art. Memorials, sculptures, structures and spaces inside and out. Each piece is different, but all share Maya's vision. She wants people to be a part of her art. Look, touch, read, walk around, sit by, think about. And just like when she was as a child who named a hill the lizard's back, Maya names her project often words from nature. Names such as sounding stones, topo, the wave field, 10 degrees north, reading a garden. And after naming a piece, the final step in shaping her artwork, Maya Lin, the artist architect, is ready to dream, think again, and create something new. After reading this book, boys and girls, what is something that you aspire to be when you grow up?